Updated October 23, 2017 112,541 Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's landslide victory in the national poll is no surprise. The country has no opposition leader. There is not anyone on the political scene who is considered an alternative prime minister. While two new parties emerged in this election campaign, neither party was ever going to topple him from the top job. Those two parties, the Party of Hope and the Constitutional Democratic Party of Japan are now duking it out in the seat count to see who will become the main opposition force in Japan. Mr. Abe's victory has prompted renewed speculation about his quest to change Japan's pacifist constitution, will he or want he in this term of office? This is the Abe paradox, his election victories belie the deep mistrust that voters have of him, particularly about his mission to change the constitution. An opinion poll published by the Asahi newspaper last week pointed to 55% opposition on this matter. Mr. Abe has a long-stated aim of amending the war announcing Article 9 of the Constitution, to add another provision to clarify the legal status of Japan's self-defense forces SDF. He and his party argue the current wording of the Constitution could lead to confusion in a crisis because its role is not correctly defined. While Japan's SDF has been equipped and trained to become one of the world's most advanced military forces, it cannot be deployed to fight in overseas combat. Mr. Abe has said that 2020 should be marked as a turning point for Japan. It is the year that Tokyo will host the Olympic Games and he hopes it will have a new constitution to set it on a new path for the future. Earlier this year, Mr. Abe said changing Japan's constitution was the responsibility of our generation. But even though his coalition secured a strong victory in yesterday's poll, any change to the constitution would require a referendum and that is likely to trigger mass opposition. It could even prompt a galvanizing in opposition politics. The left wing of Japanese politics is currently lame, and this issue would give a number of vague entities a cause for coming together in opposing his moves. Added to this is the focus that the Olympic Games will inevitably bring. Will Mr. Abe risk damaging Japan's squeaky clean image by venturing down this path? He and his party are likely to tread very carefully on this matter. Topics Elections, Foreign Affairs, World Politics, Constitution, Unrest Conflict and War, Japan First Posted October 23, 2017 110,759